sprayed and betrayed. Tonight, an update on our I-Team investigation into Agent Orange testing, uh, Agent Orange testing at Fort Eisenhower. Our I-Team has uncovered the deadly toxin was stored on post years longer than the government admits. Meredith Anderson joins us with a document that could make all the difference. The VA routinely denies veterans benefits if they were stationed after spraying Agent Orange has stopped. Proving Agent Orange existed on post years later than first thought, that could mean life-changing benefits for far more veterans and their families. The Vietnam War is colored in controversy, but no doubt the brightest shade is orange. You might even call it a stain. Soldiers sprayed Agent Orange to kill the canopy, exposing the enemy taking cover in the jungle. It also killed their food supply. Ever since, it's been slowly killing those who came into contact with it. Almost five decades after the fall of Saigon, the war still rages on for those fighting a battle with Agent Orange exposure. It ate me alive. We first introduced you to James Cripps back in 2010 after the government approved his landmark claim for Agent Orange benefits. It's the deadliest poison known to man. He was the very first person to prove to the U.S. government he was exposed to Agent Orange, not in Vietnam, but here in the U.S. at Fort Eisenhower. Now, 14 years later, he's putting himself back on the front line of the fight. Why did you want to come forward now with these documents? Once I realized what I had, there's no way I could just sit on that documentation. This documentation. He believes it could help hundreds of vets and their families finally get benefits too. We'll get to how in just a minute. But first, this isn't Vietnam. These are clips from the News 12 archives of a remote part of Fort Eisenhower. Back then, it was called Camp Crockett. It was no secret the Army built mock Vietnamese villages there to make training as real as possible. Clips in our archives show people dressed like villagers. Saigon is even on this bus. All pretend, but Cripps says the dangerous chemical he sprayed was very real, even though the government denied it for years. Put their finger in my face and they said, Mr. Cripps, we have never, ever sprayed Agent Orange in the continental United States. This map proves Agent Orange was sprayed here. It's what first blew our News 12 investigation wide open, exposing the government tested agents blue, orange, and white in Augusta from January 1967 to December of 1969, exposing soldiers to a rainbow of tactical toxins. But James Cripps believes soldiers at Fort Gordon were likely exposed to Agent Orange up until the mid 80s. And the proof has been in the paperwork he's had all along. He just never put two and two together until now. And this, this could be life changing to so many vets whose lives and health have been impacted. In the many pages Mr. Cripps filed with his claim with the VA was this statement. It was from a forester who worked on post. And in 2006, he wrote this. He says he discovered a shed of old pesticides on post that were likely there from the time Mr. Cripps was stationed. However, take a look at this. He says he discovered it in the mid 1980s. Mr. Cripps says there's no doubt in his mind that stash of pesticides was Agent Orange. I said, I still have a key to that lock but he didn't still have the lock. He said, Mr. Cripps, can you, can you describe to me what I saw when I opened that door? Alan Braswell doesn't recount any of this in his statement, but Cripps says he described everything to him in detail. I started on the left side and I said, the first thing you would have seen would have been an Evan Rude boat motor sitting on its top. The building wasn't still there anymore. The herbicides weren't still there anymore, but he did remember enough to know that I knew what I was talking about. And for years, James Cripps believed he would not have won his claim without that statement because he thought it proved he knew how and where the Agent Orange was stored before the government ever admitted testing it at what was then Fort Gordon. 
But now, he also believes this document could be proof those dangerous chemicals were here long after the government says they were gone. I've never seen an opportunity so great as this one where talking to you and getting this information out could help maybe three or 400 veterans in one lick. Perhaps getting rid of some of those shades of gray by opening a larger window of time when it comes to who was exposed to Agent Orange. Not just where, but when. As for the documents in this story, that all important one talking about the mid 80s, if you or someone you know needs them for a claim, of course, we will be posting all of them with this story, including that map as well on WRDW.com. Hard to believe we're still learning all these years right. later about something new at Agent, with Agent Orange here in Augusta, but he mentioned a shed there that's not there anymore. Right. What is? Well, for the very first time, the first time ever, our cameras were allowed in that area, and you might be surprised to see what we found. We're working on that report for you, and we'll have that for you tomorrow night. Looking forward to it. Meredith, thanks for the follow-up there.